What's up guys, it's Jerugolo, and today I'll be discussing a controversial topic within the Pokemon community, and my thoughts on what Game Freak can do to make everyone happy, and eliminate the need for this issue in the first place. And that issue is hacking, or ginning. If you don't know, ginning or hacking is a way of getting items and or Pokemon of your specifications, including IVs, EVs, natures, etc., put directly into your game, bypassing the need of using in-game processes like catching, trading, breeding for IVs, EV training or super training, and even grinding and leveling up. Once someone is set up to be able to gin mods and items, it makes the game much more convenient, particularly for those whose main purpose is battling with friends. It lets them enjoy battling without having to spend hours and hours building and testing a team, hours they may not have to devote fully to a game. They can simply gin a team, or two, or ten, and have them ready to use as necessary in relatively very little time. While this process then seems to be very useful and efficient, there are those who are highly against it. Opponents of hacking say that hacking not only violates the terms of the game and is explicitly prohibited in competitive play at Pokemon tournaments, but it also ruins the integrity of the game. Opponents say that the game is made less fair for those who want to play the game legitimately, the way the game is meant to be played, but when hackers flood the online battling scene with perfect IV and EV mons and tons of shiny perfect legendaries, it makes it difficult for those who have to catch and breed and train those Pokemon as the game intended to even stand a chance. And not only that, but they bring these hacked perfect mons into official tournaments which is against the rule, and thus cheating. Outside of battling, there's also the issue of trading, where hacked Pokemon are put on the global trade station in abundance, distributing hacked Pokemon to people who are none the wiser. Some YouTubers or streamers even going so far as to have giveaways of these hacked Pokemon, giving them out en masse. So they're not only hacking for themselves, they're involving others in their illegitimate treatment of the game as well. Honestly, both sides have reasonable points. On one hand, if a group of friends wants to have fun battling, why should they all have to take up a whole weekend just to prepare for being able to battle, when there is a means of getting it done in under an hour? And on the other hand, is it fair to bring perfect generated mons onto a public battle spot where you're likely to run into those who did not gen and may not have decent IV mons? And should people be allowed to put up all their hacked mons onto the public global trade station? A common saying among the pro hacking side is that all the Pokemon and items they gen are legal and fully obtainable in-game anyway. All they're doing is saving time and energy. This includes in competitive cases, which is how they pass the legality checks on their Pokemon in the first place. So if the true motivation then is time, then I believe there's a way to compromise so that both sides are appeased, and we can finally end the fight between these two sides. I believe Pokemon should introduce a competitive mode, similar to the regular system in Pokemon Showdown. They could even implement their QR team system, which would let the player select the Pokemon and the moves and stats they desire, as in Pokemon Showdown, and save these teams in the game mode, and perhaps also to a QR code, and only allow these teams to be used within this multiplayer creative mode. This would be a contained system, where the Pokemon are legally and natively generated in-game, completely eliminating the need to hack and gen mods. And because the teams are contained in the game mode, those who want to play using the standard means can continue to play Pokemon completely normally, breeding, training, using battle spot, using GTS, and whatever they desire. And those would-be hackers are satisfied because now they don't need to. They can do it all in-game, and battle their friends, subscribers, whomever to their heart's content. I feel that if Game Freak implemented a system like this into their game, it would go a long way towards eliminating hacking of the game. It would allow more people to have all the fun with the game, even if they're a busier person and don't have the time to devote to breeding and training. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with my idea? Do you disagree? Do you have an idea of your own you'd like to suggest? Comment down below and let me know what you think. With Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on their way, as well as Pokemon for Switch in the works, it's an exciting time for Pokemon and it'll be nice if they can continue to make improvements that work for everyone. So I hope you all have a nice day, and don't forget to comment. And if you like, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks guys. This has been Jerugolo. Thanks for watching.